Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm here with Lisa to give you a quick overview of the process of getting started with Demand Side Response. The first step is to get in touch with us. One of our team will then set up a call with you to discuss your requirements and operational parameters. Our engineering team might also conduct an in-person site survey if required. You don't need to know how much flexibility your site can offer before you contact us. That's something we can establish based on your site metered data following our initial discussion. There are opportunities for a full range of different types and sizes of assets, so it's always worth speaking to us even if you're not sure whether you can participate. For new build projects, especially front of the meter sites such as batteries and gas peakers, we encourage you to get in touch early. During the planning stages is best. This helps developers ensure that a site is able to provide the full spectrum of flexibility services. Once we've gathered all of the relevant information from you, we put together a revenue illustration. We provide this free of charge. Flextricity operate a revenue share model and don't charge upfront or fixed fees. A revenue share model can significantly reduce your risk and ensures that Flextricity has aligned incentives to maximise value. The next stage is to get the site ready for participation and connect it to a virtual power plant run by our control room operators here in Edinburgh 24-7, 365 days a year. This is a three-stage process, scoping, connection and commissioning. First, our engineering team will need to understand the technical setup of site. For example, what assets are providing the flexibility, how are they controlled and how are they metered. From this discussion, we'll produce a scope of works that outlines what work is required to connect to our virtual power plant. Once the scope is agreed to, the second stage is setting up that connection. Flexitricity works solely on a profit share basis, so we provide our outstation at no cost to the site. The outstation should include everything needed for us to be able to dispatch your site into services. Depending on the services you'll be participating in, the scope may also outline a requirement for new operational metering. The third and final stage would be commissioning and go live, which would include testing dispatch of the flexible assets and ensuring all signals between the control room and site are in place before delivering in live services. Prior to your asset going live for flexibility services, we discuss and agree the best operational strategy for your asset. Our operations team and trading desk monitor your asset and the energy markets 24-7 and adjust the strategy as needed to maximise revenue. It is therefore important that you select a provider that can ensure your asset is kept agile across different markets. Values from different revenue streams are already shifting, making the need to be agile ever more important. Flexitricity's account management team is here to keep you informed about the strategy and ensure you're made aware of any new opportunities. For example, new DNO flexibility tenders or the evolution of balancing services procured by National Grid. We're also engaged with Bayes, Ofgem and National Grid and are part of a number of industry working groups, allowing us to keep our energy partners up to speed with the latest market developments that could influence our strategy in the future. And ultimately, our support goes right through to the settlement process, making sure you're getting paid for the flexibility that you deliver. So how much can your assets earn? We get asked this all the time, and the honest answer is it depends. Each site is different. Through our discussions with you and your technical team, you will need to look at a range of parameters before preparing revenue illustrations. We don't generalize or make statements about how much each service is worth. We work with a huge variety of flexibility, from grid-scale storage and gas-peaking assets to flexible load at industrial and commercial sites, and from combined heat and power plant at district heat networks or fresh produce growing sites to flexibility delivered by the electrification of heat and transport. Visit flexitricity.com to see some examples of this work in practice. You can read case studies of the sites we've worked with for a number of years, or keep an eye on our blog and press releases to see some of the exciting projects we've got lined up in the years ahead. Flexitricity is widely regarded as the market leader in delivering flexibility services in Great Britain, and we hope you'll join us on our journey to deliver revenue to sites while contributing to a greener, more flexible grid.